I'm Douglas Neat. Thanks for joining me for this Million Dollar Minute. I'd like to talk about purchasing equipment for your home recording studio. Personally, I would invest more money on the analog components of your system. Things like mics, mic preamps, speakers, and analog to digital converters. The quality of those components can significantly elevate the quality of your recording. Over time, their manufacture and engineering will change very little and they can be used for many years. On the other hand, computers, digital work surfaces, and recording software change and are upgraded by their manufacturers frequently, but they don't significantly affect the quality of your sound. Spending money on them results in far less improvement of your recordings. Now, one word of caution, don't overdo the equipment thing. Spending a hundred thousand dollars on equipment will not make you a great guitarist. In fact, the more talented someone is, the less they need the latest and the greatest. You can spend an endless amount of money on electronics. Now in general, the first one to three thousand dollars per item are well worth it for good mics, mic preamp, studio monitors, analog digital converter, etc. Beyond that, however, an extra thousand or two will get you a better piece of equipment, but it will only be a little better. As you spend more and more, the improvement in your final recording becomes incrementally smaller and smaller. Spend what you must to get the job done, but don't overdo it. Otherwise, it will take much longer and many more CD sales to turn a profit. You won't make your first million dollars if you spend all your money on fancy equipment. Be certain to also to insure your recording equipment. Because you're using it for your business, it probably won't be covered under your standard homeowner's or renter's insurance policy. Shop around for the best rate, but be sure the policy offers solid coverage without a bunch of loopholes. The insurance premiums you pay to cover your business equipment are tax deductible on Schedule C of your tax return. Remember, the entrepreneurial guitarist, that's you, <laughs> doesn't spend money unless he must. When outfitting a home recording studio, spend wisely.